What's up, everybody? It's Coach JB with Hoop Study, and on this episode of the Hoop Study Huddle, we're checking out the first round matchup between St. Peter's and Kentucky. Now, a lot of people thought that St. Peter's won this game through their offense, but we're going to break it down and show you how they actually won through their defense. In the first half, you can see that they were matched up man to man, and Kentucky was having a pretty good night. They were getting threes off, they were getting cuts to the basket, they were able to get a couple of post feeds in, and it was going well for them. This even extended into the second half, especially when St. Peter's ended up getting into foul trouble. They had to find a solution to the problem, because pretty much throughout the entire game, it was close. But there was a key turning point to this game, and that's when St. Peter's started running a zone. You can see that they're set up in a 3-2 zone right now, and when they started running this defense, Kentucky was in trouble. Notice that the shot clock is all the way down to 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and they never get a shot off. You'll see it again here in this clip. They end up forcing up a bad shot late in the shot clock. But the real teaching point here, besides making the adjustment, is how they're playing defense. Notice that as soon as this man is no longer a threat because the ball handler is looking away from him, they're going to drop down and double in the post to take away this pass. But they didn't get it all right, and here's where it didn't go right. As soon as they tried to start trapping in the middle, it was bad news. You can see that they're trying to trap here in the middle, and as soon as that happens, the ball handler is just going to turn the corner, and you can see that this defender is completely out of position, and he's going to get beat, and now here's where he picks up a foul. Now that doesn't mean you don't ever trap in the middle. Having rules like that can actually really hurt a defense, and we're going to show you what I mean by that. If you look here, they're in their 3-2 zone, but the man that's down here on the bottom, he is not going to follow the rules of a 3-2. He is extending out to the three-point line because that's where a man is. And then as soon as the ball is moved, notice that he moves up to the free throw line to take away this pass. So don't get beat by defensive rules. Here they make an adjustment and it leads to a turnover. Now don't get me wrong. This three from Etter to tie up the game in overtime was huge, and the clutch free throws from Matthew Lee and Etter late in the game sealed the victory, but it was the defensive adjustment to switch to a zone and really lock down that sealed this victory.